In a career spanning over three decades, Winona Ryder has turned in dozens of awesome performances, but now it's time to decide which are the best. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Winona Ryder performances. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be counting down the best film and TV performances to date in this actress's career. Maybe your life works for you, but it doesn't work for me! Number 10. Abigail Williams, The Crucible Never touched. Hi. But we did. Set during the height of the infamous Salem Witch Trials, Abigail Williams dabbles with witchcraft while trying to win back her married ex-lover. While the film may not have been a box office success, much praise was heaped upon the cast for their strong performances. My name is good in the village! Elizabeth Brock does an envious, gossiping liar! As Williams, Ryder is magnetic, pushing and pulling at the emotions of the other characters as she delves deeper into her own manipulative mind. From the opening scene, it's clear that Ryder's character will be a force to be reckoned with for the remainder of the film. I am but God's finger, John. Number 9. Elizabeth Beth McIntyre, Black Swan He always said you were such a frigid little girl. A dark and twisted psychological film of the likes that only Darren Aronofsky is capable of. Black Swan is the story of an ambitious ballet dancer's descent into madness after being named the lead in Tchaikovsky's Swan Lake. Winona Ryder plays Beth McIntyre, the production's former prima ballerina. I'm nothing. <laughs> Known for taking on difficult roles, Ryder knocks this performance out of the park. While she only has a couple of scenes, one can't help but marvel at the depth of her character's shocking behavior. Thankfully, Ryder is more than capable of handling the role, delivering a strong performance that isn't soon forgotten. Nothing. Nothing. Number 8. May Welland, The Age of Innocence and I can't have my happiness made out of a wrong to somebody else. Set in late 19th century New York and directed by one of Hollywood's most beloved directors in Martin Scorsese, The Age of Innocence was a critically acclaimed romantic drama that scored Winona Ryder her first Oscar nomination. She's been away for so long, she's rather sensitive. The film takes place during America's Gilded Age, a time of extreme decadence, and tells the story of Newland Archer, a newly engaged man who finds himself falling in love with another woman. Ryder plays Archer's fiance, Mae Welland, and is spectacular in the role. Shall we elope? <laughs> if you would, why not? Working alongside Hollywood heavyweights Daniel Day-Lewis and Michelle Pfeiffer, Ryder easily holds her own, proving once again what a talented actress she is. You can find a way to spend your afternoon, can't you? Number 7. Josephine Jo March, Little Woman You can't even propose without quarreling. <laughs> Set in the period of the American Civil War, Little Woman is based on the classic piece of literature of the same name. It follows the March sisters, Meg, Joe, Beth, and Amy, and the different paths their lives take due to their very different personalities. Winona Ryder plays Joe, a spirited young woman with a passion for writing. I will write this man a letter. A letter? That'll show him. Ryder is magnificent in the role, which earned her an Academy Award nomination for Best Actress. Joe March is the heart and soul of the film, and Ryder does an excellent job of bringing the character to life in a positive and believable way. I want to change, but I, I can't. And I, I just know I'll never fit in anywhere. Number six, Lelena Pierce, Reality Bites. So cheesy, I can't watch them without crackers. A 90s cult classic, Reality Bites is a coming-of-age dramedy starring Ethan Hawke, Ben Stiller, and of course Winona Ryder. Ryder plays Lelena a videographer who struggles to navigate the tumultuous post-college world while attempting to balance love and friendship. You better do it now, and you better do it fast because the world doesn't owe you any favors. While the film wasn't exactly a critical or commercial success, it is often considered one of the 90s most accurate depictions of the lives of Generation Xers. Ryder's performance in the film received positive reviews, with one critic calling it her greatest role since Heather's. Welcome to the world of the emotionally mature. It's a really nice place to visit. Number 5. Susanna Kaysen, Girl Interrupted I signed myself in. I should be able to sign myself out. Girl Interrupted is the story of Susanna Kaysen, a young woman who suffers a nervous breakdown that ultimately lands her in a psychiatric hospital. While there, she befriends Lisa, a charismatic sociopath, and one of the facility's most senior residents. But what if you don't have a secret? 
In your life, you're like me. The chemistry between writer and co-star Angelina Jolie is palpable, and both young women are at the top of their game in this film. Both actresses received praise for their performances, with Jolie taking home the Oscar for the Best Actress in a Supporting Role. No one cares if you die, Lisa. <laughs> because you're dead already." A poignant tale of self-discovery, Girl Interrupted is must-watch material for Winona Ryder fans. Hurt yourself on the outside to try to kill the thing on the inside. Number 4. Joyce Byers, Stranger Things I've been waiting here over an hour, Hopper. The smash hit of 2016, Stranger Things is a science fiction horror series set in the fictional small town of Hawkins, Indiana. Ryder plays Joyce Byers, a distraught mother willing to do anything to find her missing 12-year-old son Will. Tell me what to do. What should I do? How do I get to you? How, how do I find you? What should I do? The show is a brilliant blend of all things 80s and plays heavily on the nostalgia that exists for the decade. So guess what? I got off early and ta-da! I, I thought I wasn't allowed to see it. While Stranger Things features plenty of strong performances, Ryder is in a league of her own. She was recognized for her role when she was given a nomination for Best Actress in a Drama TV series at the Golden Globes. Maybe I'm out of my mind, but God help me, I will keep these lights up until the day I die if I think there's a chance that Will's still out there. Number 3. Kim Boggs, Edward Scissorhands Hey, how about after dinner we go down to the bowling alley? That'd be fun. This quirky love story is one of the most beloved films of all time and is arguably director Tim Burton's crowning achievement. Edward Scissorhands is the tale of a man who, as you may have already guessed, has scissors for hands. Winona Ryder plays Kim, a teenager living in the suburbs who falls in love with Edward despite his physical flaws. They didn't hurt you, did they? A critical and commercial success, the film received numerous awards nominations, with many praising Ryder for her performance an iconic flick that is guaranteed to tug at your heartstrings. Accepting her role in Edward Scissorhands is easily one of the best career moves Winona Ryder has ever made. Where is everybody? Out looking for you. Number 2. Lydia Dietz, Beetlejuice I myself am strange and unusual. Another of Tim Burton's wacky creations, Beetlejuice is the unconventional story of two ghosts who decide to haunt their former home in order to scare off a family who just moved in. Things start to go awry, however, when they hire obnoxious freelance bio-exorcist, Ghost Beetlejuice, to do the job for them. Ryder plays Lydia, a goth teenager who befriends her new home's deceased inhabitants. My whole life is a dark room. One big dark room. A teenager herself when the film was released, Ryder proves more than capable of holding her own, delivering an iconic performance in one of the decade's best films. Can you guys do any tricks to prove I'm not dreaming? Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Guys, can't live with them, can't shoot them. <laughs> I want to be what you are, see what you see, love what you love. She's cute, Nick. Could do a lot worse. In fact, you have done a lot worse. <laughs> Number 1. Veronica Sawyer, Heather's Dear Diary, Heather told me she teaches people real life. This is the cult classic that put her name on the map, and Winona Ryder is pure cinematic gold in the black comedy. Heather satirizes the high school experience in dramatic fashion, focusing on a quintessential high school clique and the rebellious new kid in town who decides to kill them all. My life is filthy! Do with it. Take out her tonsils? It sounds bleak, but it's actually one of the funniest movies you'll ever see, made even better by Ryder's darkly subversive performance and deadpan delivery. If you were happy every day of your life, you wouldn't be a human being, you'd be a game show host. A box office failure, the film is now considered one of the best films of the 80s, and in 2017, came in at number 412 on Empire's list of the 500 greatest movies of all time. You a Heather? No. I'm a Veronica. Sawyer. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.